In this training video, we're going to learn how to give different types of discounts to different types of customers. In order to give a discount, you first need to add items to your cart. So we'll go ahead and add one bottle of the Chenin Blanc and one bottle of the Pinot Noir. Now we can find the discount tile if it has been added by your POS administrator. That tile is called Apply Discount. We can tap the Apply Discount tile which provides an interface for three different types of discounts that we can apply. First would be an amount on the order. For instance, if we wanted to give $10 off, we could just type in $10. A percentage-based discount, which if we wanted to give, say, 20% off, we can just type in 20%. And then also a discount code. If you know a discount code, or if what, there's a recently used code in this list here, then you could use a discount code. Let's go ahead and try the discount percentage. We're going to give a 20% off, so we'll type 20%, and we'll just give this a title of wine discount. Save. Now you can see that the Shopify POS has provided an order level discount of $12.40, which equals 20% off. Now let's say we wanted to not have an order level discount and instead have a line item level discount. So we only want to discount the Pinot Noir and not the Chenin Blanc. What we can do is we can tap the discount in the cart. We can click clear discount. That's going to clear the discount from the cart. Then we can tap on the product that we want to give a line item discount to. The product detail view comes up, where if we want to, we can change the quantity. But we also have the ability to apply a discount to the item. We'll tap that tile. And again, let's do a 20% discount. And we'll call it line discount again. Click the Save button, and now you can see that the 2018 Pinot Noir has been discounted 20%, and the price has been reduced from $38 to $30.40. Now let's say you want to clear this discount. You would again tap on the product, you would tap on the discount, and you would click Clear Discount again, and Save. And Save. That takes us back to the cart where all of the items are full price and nothing has been discounted. The next way that you could provide a discount is using discount tiles that have been set up specifically for certain types of discounts. In this case, the administrator of this POS system has created a new page in the smart grid with three different discounts. One is a 20% off for VIPs, one is a 20% off club discount, and another is a 30% off a case discount. The 20% and 30% off are for Founders Club members only. So they have to be a club member. The way that you use these types of discounts is first you need to add the customer to the cart because these are club member discounts and of course club members are customers. I'm going to go ahead and search for the customer, Kevin Bowers, again. I'll tap Kevin Bowers. I can confirm whether he's a club member or not by scrolling down and looking at his tags. And we can see he does have the club level tags here. So that confirms that he is, in fact, a club member. And we can also see that his status is current. We'll go ahead and add Kevin to the cart. And then we can apply the 20% one-time purchase discount. You can see the discount has been added to the order of $12.40, which is 20% off the subtotal of $62. Let's remove this discount by clicking the Remove Discount tile. After we've removed the discount from the order, let's go ahead and try to use the 30% off case discount. 
Let's see what happens. You can see that the 30% off case discount has been added as a line item, but the discount amount is $0 because Kevin's order does not equal 12 or more bottles as required by the discount. In order to fix this, we can just change the quantities of the products in the cart. Just click on the Pinot Noir. We're going to go ahead and increment up to six bottles and save. And then let's do the same for the Chenin Blanc. Now you can see that the 30% off case discount has been added to the cart because the order satisfies the 12 bottle minimum. Let's go ahead and remove this discount and find uh, one other way that we can add a discount. We know that Kevin is a, a club member, so what we want to do in this case is use the Bloom Members and Benefits tile. We'll tap the Members and Benefits tile, and this is going to load Kevin Bowers in the Bloom POS app. One of the nice things about using the Bloom POS app for providing member discounts is that you can see more member information. We can see right here that Kevin is, in fact, in the Founders Club, and he has selected as a preference red wines in three bottles. We can also see that there's some discounts that we can apply to him, and these are the same discounts that we saw on the Shopify POS. If we wanted to provide him the 20% club discount, we can do that, although since he has a case of wine, we can go ahead and apply the 30% off discount here. You can see that that discount of $111.60 has been added to his cart. One of the other benefits of using the Bloom tile is that if Kevin does have a save card on file, we can use the save card to pay for this order. Just click Use Card. We can see that the payment was authorized. And now we can continue by check clicking the checkout button, clicking the Bloom tile, and then marking this as paid. Now this order has been completed. That ends the training for discounts in the Shopify POS. Thanks for watching.